Welcome to this special film looking at some of the old photographs of Guildford in the collection of Guildford Heritage Services. My name is Melanie Holliker and today I'm in conversation with local historian David Rose looking at photos of Quarry Street. Welcome David. Hello, thank you Melanie. Thanks for having me once again. Oh no, it's a pleasure to uh, to be chatting to you. We're going to going to start with an amazing photograph that actually, well, actually, the scene might be quite familiar to people, despite the passage of over 150 years. Exactly, isn't it? It's it's from the high street, uh, looking towards Quarry Street. It's quite an early picture, I suppose. Probably, yeah, 1860s. Um, as you've captured it uh, and that, and yeah, of course, the view hasn't changed much. Uh, we can see. St Mary's Church in in the background there and the buildings on either side um, but you know to me um, these older pictures um, not always but quite often uh, they reveal to me how really dirty and I have to say how horrible the town was then compared with today uh, you can see the horse dung in the road there um, the building on the right is this extremely grubby uh, there was a lot of soot and smut, you know, in those days from uh, from open fires. Um, you know, uh, though Guildford had its um, own gas supply uh, dated back to 1824 and there were gas lamps in the high street, um, it must have been a really gloomy place at night. Um, so unlike uh, the brightly lit town that we have at night today. And another another familiar scene, David, but as you say, um, with that sort of, you know, slightly um, kind of grimy look to it and, and the children there as well. Um, I wonder how well clothed they, they were. <laughs> That's right. Again, so we're uh, we're looking now at a castle arch and uh, that street back then and actually until more completely comparatively relative times. Um, you know, there were lots of families that lived there. Um, I, I've spoken to somebody who remembers playing football in the street there. Um, back in the sort of 1950s, <laughs> but there you go. And uh, yeah, but again, going back to this sort of um, this dirty old town as such, we could say the, the arch, you know, it looks almost black. You can see the grime coat in the, the white clunch chalk. chalk. Um, so it's a, it's a particularly hard type of chalk. It was dug as deep down as possible from quarries nearby. And that's what the uh, the historic arch was, was made of. Um, yeah, and, and again, Sometimes people say, oh, um, when they look at pictures, oh, wasn't it nice then? Um, but sorry, you know, it wasn't for me at all. We do have a much cleaner and brighter town today, um, but we can only think of the, the poor sanitary conditions that people had to put up with in Guildford in those times. Um, you know, not, not a sewage system, really. Guildford was earlier than some towns to put that in. Um, and, and many, you know, the houses in the town where people lived, certainly this part of Guildford, um, of course, there was the well-to-do houses further out, um, but uh, these these houses were really quite run down and that's where the poor people of Guildford lived. And of course, one of the houses in this picture, um, Castle Arch, right next to the arch there, um, became Guildford Museum. Uh, and we've got another photo of that. When we opened uh, the Gertrude Jekyll Gallery, um, for as part of the museum. This is an amazing picture, I think. Um, it really does show you who was in charge of local politics back in 1911. Oh gosh, you know, they, they certainly like having their picture taken then. And uh, yeah, all the movers and shakers, the important people of Guildford have gathered here um, for the opening of that new gallery and extension to the museum. And this is February the 15th, 1911. Uh, the mayor at the time, I think was Councillor William Patrick, uh, that will be him pictured uh, at the door um, and uh, there's a little girl dressed in white uh, standing next to him. 1898 is the day that the or the date that the Surrey Archaeological Society rented the building called Castle Arch um, next to the arch um, for its collection and they opened a museum um, but by 1912 the museum had then become known as the Guildford Borough and Surrey Archaeological Society Museum. Uh, and the council took the full running of it in 1933. And if we can look behind all those uh, those well-to-do gentlemen, the um, the town um, the town worthies, really the extension, which is now the entrance to the museum, doesn't look very different, does it? 
No, uh, there's that canopy, isn't there, today that, mm. that extends out a little bit. Um, but <laughs> it, is, but it is the same there, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Essentially. But with the next photo, now I don't recognise uh, this pub in Quarry Street. Well, Melanie, when you, I did, have, of course, have a sneak preview of these pictures, and uh, I have to say I did recognise it, um, but not actually this particular um, photograph. There, there are other ones of it. Um, but what it is, it's, it's a rare view of a pub of which the other side uh, that faces the river is more usually seen and, and recognise it when looking at vintage photos. Um, today it's a pub called The Wayside. Um, it's where Quarry Street uh, meets Shelford Road, uh, but many people will remember it as the, as the Jolly Farmer pub. So this is the original pub building, um, which had been part of a row of cottages there. There was a wheelwright shop and there was also a blacksmith's shop there at one point. Um, and it seems to have become a pub by about the middle of the 19th century. Um, and that's not unlike other Guildford pubs that came into being in the Victorian era. Um, they were not specifically built as, as pubs, so of course some were. Um, they were houses that were converted into pubs as Guildford grew uh, in the 19th century. So the, the Jolly Farmer um, was pulled down, this one, and replaced by the building that we have today in 1913 and uh, it was a, 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 a Guildford Friary brewery pub for many years uh, from the local brewery which is which was where the Friary Centre is today. Now on the left you can see some writing just about writing on some doors there's some sign writing there and that was for Leroy's boathouse uh, and that was next to the pub there. So some some pursuits have stayed the same haven't they taking a trip out on the riverway? Oh gosh, yeah, this was um, uh, a well-known spot, wasn't it, then as it is now, you know, of uh, people um, going out for a walk along the towpath and Leroy's Boathouse, and there was another boathouse there called Allen's, which hired out rowing boats, uh, Guildford Rowing Club's just further down there. Unfortunately, um, we don't have that boathouse now in Guildford, do we? But uh, many people I talk to certainly remember the days when you could go and, and hire a boat there and have a spend an afternoon on the river. I like to, to sort of think about the, the things that have changed and the things that have stayed the same. So that leisure pursuit stayed stayed the same, essentially. But Quarry Street, it used to be the main one of the main roads through Guildford, didn't it, before the one way system? It, exactly. And Quarry Street is, is probably one of the, you know, one of the oldest roads in Guildford. Um, and uh, yes, it, that would have been the main road um, out of Guildford in the direction of, of Shelford until Millbrook was pushed through where the Debenham store is today. Uh, pushed through there in the early 60s and Quarry Street, one way street today, but people will still remember it as being a, a, a traffic in both directions. So that's a big change. And the last photo we've got um, to look at, this building on Quarry Street, I don't recognise either. Oh yeah, well this again um, is another example for me of a, of, of a rundown building. Um, and I say it's it's an interesting building. We've got some decorative tile hanging there. Um, it doesn't exist today, so Melanie, it's no good trying to find it. Um, but it, it, it was not far from where the Guildford Museum is. Um, it was a bit further down Quarry Street, um, past Castle Arch. You go down the hill towards the Shelford Road. Um, it probably started life as a house. It must have. Um, I've had some age. Um, but by the 1950s, there was a grocer by the name of William Chitty, and he turned it into a beer house, uh, meaning that it only had a license to sell beer and ale, but not a license to sell spirits. And it was known as, as the good intent. Um, but in the 1950s, and I think that's probably when this, uh, 1920s or so, not 1950s, and you've got 1928 there, haven't you, on your caption. Yeah, in about the 1920s, um, it became a cheap lodging house, essentially, and, uh, and it was renamed then the Good Intent Apartment House for Men. Um, but really, you know, it was no more than a DOS house offering a bed for the night to tramps, homeless people who paid a small fee uh, to stay there. Uh, I got the, the 50s, I was getting a bit confused there, but it was in the 1950s, um, a story that I've picked up of, of a person I know who was a young police officer in Guildford in the 50s. And he told me there, he went there one night um, when he was on duty to check all was well. 
And he went in there and he just couldn't believe the sight he saw of, of men sleeping together in such appalling conditions. Um, and so it, it closed soon after that. And now uh, a block of flats occupy the site. Thank you, David. That's been fascinating. And it's really given us a different, you know, very different perspective of Guildford. And I hope our viewers have enjoyed looking at the old photos too. If you'd like to see any more, you can take a look at our online exhibition, Guildford Streets, and the link for that is in the description box below. Thank you.